hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to install the kali linux latest kali linux on your virtual machine using the virtual box so first of all you need to make sure that virtualization is enabled on your windows right click on the taskbar then open the task manager and go to processes and then go to here performance click on your cpu and see virtualization is enabled if it is showing disabled you have to enable it you need to go to the bios option and then enable it once you see this enabled let's move on now we need to have the download virtual box as well as the kali linux iso file just you need to search here virtual box download and then go to first link you will land into the space also we need to go to search here Kali Linux download and first link we need to open that the same link here and once you see this link you need to click on download then under the installer images click on recommended and simply you need to download this Kali Linux 25.3 this is this is the latest version now you just need to click on this download toggle once you click on download here you need to save the location I have already just downloaded this ISO file of Kali Linux also virtual Oracle virtual box click on download and simply download the windows host here you will see here and you can also install the virtual box extension pack Once Oracle Virtual Box as well as its extension and Kali Linux ISO is downloaded, now once Virtual Box is downloaded successfully, you just need to double click on this setup and select the default location. Just you need to install it. Just click on Next, accept it, click on Next, click on Next and click on yes or install it since I have already installed it otherwise my this will be uninstalled so I'm clicking on no, no option now you need to click yes option and once this this is done you need to launch it and once you launch it you might see a different like this so you need to go to here extensions inside this then click on install and choose this extension extension pack just click on open and simply install it agree terms and conditions now it's downloaded successfully now go to home here now and then you need to click on new and name it Kali this is the location image is not selected yet so we can select it later as well click on next select a linux os edition and os distribution is debian select that option 64 bit then click on next and 2 GB is minimum required RAM but you can give at least 4 GB according to your system memory I'm giving at least 4 GB and number of CPU that is also depend on you so I'm going to give it 3 this size is 20 GB minimum but you can give more 
50 GB I am giving then click on next and click on finish now once Kali is selected here you need to right click on it go to its settings now go to this feature the shared clip is bi direction and this one is bi directional as well now go to system then this is a processor on all the details then go to display video memory select to maximum 128 MB storage select air empty option then click on here then choose the disk and select your ISO from here and click on open it's selected now on the boot now everything is leave everything as default network adapter NAT and rest of the thing is ok just click on ok then click on start the virtual machine of Kali Linux it's very easy just need to wait Now you will see the separate window here like this. You can click on view option and you can also click that option to full screen. Click on switch and now click on install graphics. Select that option first. And if you want to untick this option then Now select your language to English then click on next location select here your location I am selecting India then click on continue configure layout of your keyboard American English is good select next component installing just we need to wait here again Now this is your host name. This is your host name. Let's select Kali and then click on next. This is your domain name is not required. Just leave it blank. Then click on next. Configure a network. Your user will be created. So this is your username now. Let's select Kali Linux and then select our Kali. Now this is the password. So I'm selecting as same Kali. Confirm it. Now select here the guided use entire disk then click on continue and this is the virtual disk is going to form it don't worry about that click on next all files in one partition recommended for new users just select this option then click on next now finish partitioning and write the disk changes to disk so click on continue here and select here yes next and now again it's installing the base system leave everything as default here then click on continue option and wait here just select your yes option then click on next once you see this screen you need to select this your hard disk second option then next and it is installing the grub loader now you need to select your continue option and finishing up almost the installation now select the first option then hit enter key or it will automatically logged in so 
so now let's type the username here so as you can see here we have successfully installed the Kali Linux on our virtual machine you can see here and you can see everything is working fine here so in order to update this we need to type the command sudo apt space update enter your password of the Kali Linux and you will get the latest window here so that's all for this video guys I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching